Assalamualaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on ASP.NET 4.5 for students of King Paisan University and for others who want to learn ASP.NET. This is part 13 in the series entitled Master Pages and Themes in ASP.NET 4.5 using C Sharp. A master page serves as a template or format for a website. It is similar to ordinary pages where data and elements can be added. Its file extension is .master and it is supplied or called by content pages, the ordinary pages. For activity number 13, we will create an ASP.NET website and place it in CASP activity 13. We will create a CSS style sheet with ID selectors of page, header, menu, content, and footer. Then we will make the settings as we please. We will create a master page and put all the ID selectors inside the form. And then we will set the menu index of home, collection, and about. We will apply the style sheet to it. Then finally, we will create the web forms, default, collection, and about that use the master page. We will go back to master page and use hyperlinks to navigate the three pages. Let's create our website, file, new website in CASP activity 13. Now we'll create a folder for our <coughs> CSS. Let's call it styles. And inside it, we're going to uh, create a style sheet, add new item, there's our style sheet, and click add. Now we will add our ID selectors, we'll start with page, with width of 900 pixels, then another ID selector, the header. For the header, we have to change the height to 80 pixels. The background color to light green. There. And the font size to 30 pixels. Then the text alignment should be centered. Okay. Then we'll create another ID selector for the menu. And for the menu, we'll just change the background color. Background color to antiquate. Yeah, there. Then we'll have content. For the content, let's just change the height to maybe 200 pixels. Sorry, it should be pixels. And the last is for the footer. We'll just change the background color. Same as our header. We'll make it light green. There. Okay, let's save it. Let's close it. So that's our CSS. Now we'll create a master page. Add, add new item. And here, look for the master page there. Make it the same file and click add. We will put our style sheet here in our div. Let's start with the page. Now notice that there is this content placeholder. This is where you will put uh, all the contents of ordinary pages. Now let's add the header. Div ID is equal to header. Correct. Let's put CCSID library. And we'll create another div for the menu. Div ID is equal to menu. And remember that in the menu, we will type home, collection, and about. Then we have the content. The content will hold this content placeholder. So We'll put a tab at, on it to indent it 
and this ending tag should be after the ESP content holder. Okay, that's it. Ah, no, we have not yet entered our footer. Div ID is equal to footer. Okay, let's add the word footer and let's apply the style sheet. If we go to the design, now we can see our master page. Okay, so let's create our ordinary pages. Add add new item, web form. The first one is the default. Make sure that the checkbox for the select master page is check, then click add. It's master page that master. Let's just put some text. This is the home page. Let's go to the design. Okay, that's good. Let's create a second one. Add, add new item, web form. This time it's the collection web page. Again, make sure that the select master page checkbox is checked. Master page, okay. Notice that there are two content placeholders here. Uh, we we need to change something inside the content placeholder when not here in the head. Okay, so this is if you do, you will see something above above it, even uh, above the header. This is the collection page, and the last one is for the about page. Okay, say so this is the about page. Now we will link all these pages. Go back to the master page. Let's go to the design. Select home. Click hyperlink, browse, and select default. Okay, for collection, hyperlink, browse, collection. Okay, and for about, hyperlink browse about click ok let's go to default and look at it in our browser there this is the home page home let's go to collection this is the collection page about this is the about page we implemented a master page in asp.net 4.5 let's go to our next activity our next activity is about themes. It's another way of globally changing the design of your website. It's a set of files that controls the design of a page like CSS and image. These files reside in the app themes folder, and this folder may contain subfolders. There are two types of themes, the themes property and the style sheet theme property. As a continuation of our activity, we will create a theme folder called Light Green. Then we will copy the stylesheet.css inside the folder and name it to lightgreen.css. Then we'll change uh, something in the master page and web.config. So let's create our theme folder. Add there, add asp.net folder. There is a theme folder. And this theme is called Light Green. Light Green. Then we will copy the stylesheet.css onto this folder, paste, and we'll name it, we'll rename it to light green. Okay, so we'll go to the master page and delete this link because we're not going to use this one. We'll save it and instead we'll go to web.config and inside the system.web. We will add this pages team is equal to light green, which is the name of the folder of our team. And create it then. Okay, so let's go to default point ASPX. Now you can see that the design is gone, but if you run it to the browser, there it is. And it's still working as the same way before. Okay. So the only difference is that we cannot see it in the design. There's a way to solve that. Here, you can add this style sheet theme. SQL, of course, to light green. Just save it there. 
I believe we still have time to further this activity, so we will revise the website by creating another theme folder called Light Blue, and then we will copy all the contents of Light Green folder, and then name and change the CSS accordingly. But this time, we will add an image to the header. Okay, so let's create another theme. We'll copy our current theme to our app themes, okay, and we'll call it, we'll rename it to Light blue also it's css we're going to rename it to light blue and when we open it all the back background color will change also to light blue this light green will become light blue okay then we will add an image and let's all go since all we are all using windows let's go to our folder Let's look at our pictures, the sample pictures, this desert. Let's edit it in paint, resize it, use pixels, uncheck the maintain aspect ratio, horizontal make it 900 and for vertical make it 80. This is the size of our header. Okay, that's it. That's the picture we're going to put in the header. Save it in our directory. There's, you can also drag it. But better now save it in our directory. ASP activity 13 app teams light blue. There, desert.jpg save. Let's close it. Let's go back to Visual Studio. You can see it right now, but you can see it after you refresh it. Okay, that's desert.jpg. So in the header, let's include this property background image uh then url there url and inside it is the file name desert.jpg and semicolon control s now one last thing we need to do let's go to the web config and change this light green to light blue also here light blue Save it. Let's see if it has already been uh, affected in our master page. Let's wait. Let's wait for some time there. If we go to our browser, there you can see our header with a new style and an image in the header. Well, congratulations. We just finished discussing master pages and themes in ASP.NET. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Ma salama.